The first possible clue to what went wrong. A small Zodiac boat washed up onto the shore this morning on the island of South Ronaldsea. It's not clear if this is from the Semfjord, but Coast Guard teams are now focusing on this area of Orkney in their search for more wreckage. We're just looking to cover all the potential possibilities that, that if anything's made it off this vessel, these are the sort of likely areas where the, the anything, whether it's a, a dinghy or whether it's a person, uh, is likely to have made it to, to the land. This is the nearest point of land to the last known position of the vessel. The capsized freight carrier is still where it was first discovered almost 24 hours ago. The ship's last known location on Friday was 10 miles east of where the bow of the ship now sits just above the waterline. It's a large area to cover and the Pentland Firth is notorious for its hostility. The swell from the sea clearly shows the difficulties these rescuers still face. The Aberdeen ferry which found her had already been delayed by bad weather. There was a sombre mood among passengers who disembarked. We actually saw it, yes. Uh, she saw it first and she said to me, look at your ship, you Andrew. And, and I just turned around and said, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. There was the ship. Yeah, I really, really feel because the water at the time, you could, you could tell it was cold. It was, it, was, uh, it was a rough sea and you could tell the people who were, uh, who were on board were possibly... Uh, going to be in severe trouble. Every available crew member was outside on the, on, the, on the outer decks searching for folk, but I don't think we found anyone. On this second day of the operation, the intensity of the search has increased further, but Coast Guard say hope of finding any survivors continues to fade. Kevin Keane, BBC News.